Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the facts about Gulfstream Private Jet Factory, so before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation is an American aircraft company, and a wholly owned subsidiary of General Dynamics. Gulfstream designs, develops, manufactures, markets, and services business jet aircraft. Gulfstream has produced more than 2,000 aircraft since 1958. Gulfstream's current range consists of the G280, G550, G500, G600, and G650, G650 G650ER G700. Number 10. The company that evolved into Gulfstream Aerospace Corp. Started in the late 1950s when Grumman Aircraft Engineering Co., known for military aircraft production, developed a twin turboprop business aircraft at its facilities in Bethpage, New York, called the Grumman Gulfstream 1 G1. The G1 could seat 12 passengers, had a maximum speed of 350 miles per hour, 560 kilometers per hour, at 25,000 feet, 7,620 meters, and a range of 2,200 miles, 3,540 kilometers. The new aircraft, the first of its kind designed for business travel, was a success, prompting Grumman to develop the jet-powered Grumman Gulfstream 2 or G2. Number 9. At the start of the G2 program, Grumman officials separated the company's civil and military aircraft production to improve efficiency. In 1966, they relocated the civilian component to Savannah, Georgia, where they had found a supply of skilled labor, an airfield adjacent to the plant and room for expansion. Transportation facilities suitable for heavy equipment and machinery as well, as weather favorable to year-round flight testing, and flight training operations enhanced Savannah's appeal. The new building opened in June 1967 and was dedicated on September 29, 1967. It housed production and flight testing for the G-2. The 100-person workforce that built the G-2 was 90% local, and grew to over 1,700 within a few years. Number 8. Grumman merged. Its civil aircraft operations with light aircraft manufacturer American Aviation Corporation. The 256th and final G-2 delivery took place in 1977. One year later, the Gulfstream line and the Savannah plant were sold to American Jet Industries, which was headed by entrepreneur Alan Paulson. Paulson became the president and CEO of the company, renaming it Gulfstream American. He made a priority of developing the Gulfstream 3, a new aircraft designed to achieve greater range and speed than the G-2. The G-3 made its first flight in December 1979, with the first delivery in 1980. It was the first business jet to fly over both poles. In 1981, Gulfstream introduced the Gulfstream G-2B. The G-2B had a modified G-2 fuselage and the G-3 wings, complete with winglets. The variant offered weight and performance characteristics similar to the G-3, but with the shorter G-2 fuselage. Gulfstream completed and delivered approximately 40 G-2Bs. Paulson the Savannah workforce grew to 2,500 by the spring of 1982. Also in this year, the company's name changed to Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation to reflect its worldwide scope, and a new plane, the Gulfstream 4, was conceived. The following year, Gulfstream offered 8.8 .8 million shares of stock to the public. In 1985, Chrysler Corp acquired Gulfstream for $637 million, as part of the automaker's plan to diversify into high-tech industries. This was also the year that Gulfstream first appeared on the Fortune 500 list, at number 417. Two years later, the 200th and last Gulfstream 3 was delivered, and the first delivery of a Gulfstream 4 took place. The G5 was the first jet in business aviation to have anal glass cockpit. In 1989 Chrysler decided to sell Gulfstream, and Paulson teamed with Forstmann Little & Co., a private equity firm specializing in leveraged buyouts, and bought Gulfstream back. Number 7. The decade that followed the 1989 repurchase was a time of significant advancements for Gulfstream. The company signed a five-year contract with NetJets in 1994. It completed the Gulfstream 5 integration test facility, and rolled out the G5 the first ultra-long-range business jet, in 1995. The opening of a $16 million Savannah Service Center with 136,000 square feet 12,630 square meters of hangar space followed in 1996. 
In 1997, Gulfstream began the simultaneous manufacture of two aircraft models, the G4SP and the G5. Within a few months of the G5's first delivery in June 1997, it set nearly 40 city pair and or speed, and distance records, and its development team was awarded the 1997 Robert J. Collier Trophy, the highest honor in aeronautics or astronautics in North America. In 1998 Gulfstream purchased KC Aviation from Kimberly Clark Corp. for $250 million, which had operations in Dallas, Appleton, Wisconsin, and Westfield, Massachusetts. Number 6. At the end of the 1990s, General Dynamics purchased Gulfstream, and it opened a $5.5 million aircraft refurbishment and completion support facility in Savannah in 2000. In 2001, it acquired Galaxy Aerospace and with it, the midsize Astra SPX and Super Midsize Galaxy, which were later rebranded the Gulfstream G100 and Gulfstream G200, respectively. Also in 2001, Gulfstream purchased four U.S. maintenance facilities in Dallas, Las Vegas, Minneapolis, and West Palm Beach, Florida. Those service centers, along with a Gulfstream facility in Westfield, Massachusetts, formed General Dynamics Aviation Services, which maintained and repaired Gulfstream, and other business jet aircraft. In 2002, Gulfstream renamed its products, using Arabic numerals instead of Roman numerals to differentiate its aircraft. At the time, the company's lineup included the ultra-long-range Gulfstream G550 and G500, the long-range Gulfstream G400, the mid-range Gulfstream G300 and G200, and the high-speed G100. 2002 was also the year that Gulfstream introduced its airborne product support aircraft, a specially equipped G100, it is used to deliver parts, and provide any time service to Gulfstream customers in North America and the Caribbean who are operating aircraft under warranty. Number 5. Gulfstream began to offer an in-flight internet connection. Its broadband multi-link BBML system. Gulfstream also designed and developed a means of reducing the sonic boom caused by an aircraft, breaking the sound barrier, the quiet spike, the Quiet Spike is a telescopic nose device that softens the effect of the sonic boom by smoothing the pressure wave created by flying at the speed of sound. Gulfstream views lifting the current U.S. supersonic ban as essential for a viable business case for supersonic aircraft. The 12-year production run of the G100 ended, and the Gulfstream G150 entered service to take its place. The G-150 was the first business jet to be certified by the FAA for Stage 4, the industry's most stringent noise standards. Also in 2006, Gulfstream announced plans to expand its manufacturing and service facilities in Savannah. The seven-year, $400 million long-range facilities master plan included the creation of a new 624,588 square foot, 58,030 square meters service center, an independent fuel farm, a 42,600 square foot, 3,960 square meters paint hangar and the addition of a new sales and design. As a result of the expansion, employment at the facility was expected to grow by some 1,100 jobs. To meet the immediate need for engineering office space, Gulfstream opened a research and development center RDC. The RDC accommodates approximately 750 technical and engineering employees. Number 4. On March 13, 2008, Gulfstream announced the introduction of a new business jet, the Gulfstream G650. The G650 offers the longest range, fastest speed, largest cabin, and most advanced cockpit in the Gulfstream fleet. It is capable of traveling 7,000 nautical miles, 12,960 kilometers, 8,060 miles at Mach 85, or will cover shorter distances at a speed of Mach 0.925, making it the fastest civilian aircraft flying. It can climb to 51,000 feet 15,540 meters, allowing it to avoid airline traffic congestion and adverse weather. On October 5th of the same year, Gulfstream announced another addition to its business jet fleet, the large cabin, mid-range Gulfstream G250, later renamed the Gulfstream G280. It is capable of traveling 3,600 nautical miles 6,670 kilometers, 4,140 miles at 0.80 Mach and has a maximum operating speed of 0.85 Mach. 
It can reach its 41,000 foot 12,500 meters initial cruise altitude in 20 minutes, and can climb to a maximum altitude of 45,000 feet 13,720 meters. In 2009, the company conducted two powered rollouts one week apart. The Gulfstream G650 officially rolled out of the Savannah manufacturing facility under its own power on September 29, 2009. The G280 followed just one week later, but the G650 and the G280 flew before the end of 2009. The G650 took its first flight on November 25, while the G280 went up for the first time on December 11. Number 3. Gulfstream announced an expansion of its Savannah facilities through a $500 million, seven-year plan. The growth resulted in 1,000 additional Gulfstream jobs, an increase of more than 15%. In addition to the Savannah expansion, Gulfstream sites in Westfield, Massachusetts, US, and Luton, UK, also grew in 2011. In October, Gulfstream announced an expansion of its service, center at the Barnes Regional Airport in Westfield, Massachusetts, that will result in 100 additional Gulfstream jobs, a nearly 80% increase over the size of Gulfstream's Westfield workforce. The Luton Service Center also relocated to a 75,000-square-foot, more modern hangar. The hangar and accompanying office area nearly double space at the site, allowing Gulfstream Luton technicians to service Gulfstream's entire fleet, including the all-new G650, the company's flagship aircraft. Gulfstream suffered a major setback on April 2, 2011, when one of its G650 ultra-long-range business jets crashed on the runway at Roswell, New Mexico, fatally injuring the two test pilots and two flight test engineers on board. The aircraft was conducting a takeoff performance, test during which an engine failure was simulated by, reducing the right engine's thrust to idle. G650 became airborne briefly at a high angle of attack, before its right wingtip hit the runway, then slid on the ground and caught fire. Number 2. Gulfstream employs more than 11,500 people at 12 major locations, Savannah, Georgia, Appleton, Wisconsin, Brunswick, Georgia, Dallas, Las Vegas, Westfield, Massachusetts, West Palm Beach, Florida, Van Nuys and Lincoln, California in the US, London, UK, Mexicali, Mexico, and Suricaba, Brazil. The company expects the 2017 deliveries to be the same as 2016 at 115 units, 88 large, and 27 mid-size G280s. Gulfstream Aerospace is involved in the local, Savannah community through a variety of programs and initiatives. In November 2018, $2 million was donated to the United Way of America. Over 100 programs and services at 58 nonprofits in several Georgia counties have benefited. Number 1. About 200 Gulfstream are used by 35 governments, mainly the G550 air transports of heads of state and government, airborne early warning, medical evacuation, high altitude atmospheric research, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. What do you think of our list? Which of the facts about Gulfstream Private Jet Factory shocked you the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.